Alright, so um first I wanna give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, that taught us his truth, and blessings to the elect and the remnant of Israelites who are scattered worldwide, who are predestined to be saved. This is Brother Yakal. Come with a important but a short lesson but a very important lesson. And um today's lesson is about um, living up to your name, okay, alright, living up to your name, because when the Lord brought us into his truth, uh, many of us, you know, once the Lord opened our eyes and, and, you know, the Holy Spirit was working with us, you know, we took on a new name, because we are born again, man. You know, we were dead spiritually, our eyes were closed for a long period of time, you know, and that's why um, many of our people uh, today are still blinded because the Lord is blinding them, pursuing to Isaiah 6 and 9. But the ones of us that, you know, the Heavenly Father, you know, uh, and a free son has woken us up into his truth, you know, he gave us um, a new name, okay? Um, ancient Paleo Hebrew name, and we know the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. All right, which means He is, He exists. All right, that's why the Bible calls Him the Ancient of Days. All right, and His Son is Yahweh Shai, which means He saves, He delivers. All right, now why does Yahweh Shai have that name? Because He is the Savior of the nation of Israel. But when he comes back, it's going to start with his elect. Okay? So we we have to uh, live up to our names. And that is called an omen. A nomen omen. Alright? Uh, but a little bit here. Information on omen nomen. Alright, nomen omen. Salakia. Alright. Uh, let's see now. It's a bit up here. Alright. Uh, it says, In ancient Rome, the predictive power of a person's name was captured by the Latin proverb, Nomen est omen, meaning the name is a sign. So, the name that, you know, the Heavenly Father gave to you, for example, my name is Yakal. Alright, and that name Yikau in um, Pedro Hebrew means to endure. Alright, the Lord gave me that name. Okay. It wasn't just me, I went to a shop and I said, oh, I have that name, I have that. No. The Lord, this is all spiritual, the Lord gave me that name. And I have to live up to that name, you know. I have to endure to the end, so Lord willing, I'll be saved. And be a part of that elect. You know, what, you know, despite all the hardships that um, the Heavenly Father puts upon me. As long as His Spirit is dwelling in me, I can endure all things. You know? So the Lord gave me that name, especially because of my illness. I've got sickle cell anemia. Um, you know, I've been into two induced comas. Um, and I'm not saying these things, you know, to hype myself up. No, I'm just giving examples of why the Lord gave me that name. You know, I've been in two induced comas. Ventilator breathing for me twice. Had my gallbladder removed when I was a kid. Had a hip replacement. Then the replacement I broke, and I recently had a new hip replacement. I've had a knee replacement. Been in hospital over 40 times. You know? Um, I was like, beat up unconscious by a cracker when I was 17 years old. And I deserve that, to be honest. <laughs> well, everything I've gone through, I deserve. You know? But through all of those things, I'm still here. And mostly still in the truth. Okay. So a nomen omen. Alright. Is, um, is a, your name. Should be a sign of. You know a character that you have. So we have to live up to that. And there's a, one here. In Wikipedia. Uh, here it goes. It says a phrase. Nomen, nomen omen. Alright. As the name suggests. The name of the object or person is a clue as to their character. Alright, so your name is a clue as to your character. So 
whatever name you had like we used to um have uh, this guy that used to be the camp leader his name was Lakamar which in Hebrew means fight you know well he gave up the fight because he's bugged out now you know the Lord took the Holy Spirit away from him you know he's not in his truth no more so really he didn't live up to his name all right but we that in his truth we have to live up to our name man okay how shy is is the savior he's coming back to save like acts 4 and 12. neither is there any, is there salvation in any other for there is none of a name under heaven among men whereby we must be saved all right no other name and that name is what how shy man you know the heavenly father Yahweh, and his son Yahweh Shai. So there's no name under heaven where he might be saved. So the name is very important. And the Yahweh Shai is coming to do what? All right, Luke 19 and 10. For the Son of Man is come to seek and save. Remember what his name is. His name is Yahweh Shai, which means what? He saves, he delivers. All right. And to save that which was lost. And what was that? Us. Our language, our culture, our history, Jeremiah 17 and 4, will discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Okay? All of this, uh, uh, um, what's it called? That's why it, the names that we have is very spiritual. And we have to um, live up to those names, right? Huh? All right? Can't do it early about. Okay? We have to live up to those names. So, Yahushua is going to do his part when he comes back. Right now on the earth, as we, you know, are his children, all right, you know, and with his lambs and his sheep, we have to live up to our names, man, okay? As I said, like that, you know, that guy that used to be in our camp leader, he, he didn't live, live up to his name, all right? And to be fair, and which is true, it's up to the Heavenly Father. The Lord could take you out his truth like that, you know? That's why it's, it's very wise to be very humble, man. All right, humble in this because believe me, you know, one minute you're in his truth, the next minute the Lord can get rid of you, man. And that's a scary, scary uh, uh, thing to happen. All right, so, but in order for us, all right, in order for us to uh, live up to our name, there's many things we have to do. For example, there's a good example here in Psalms, what King David said. All right, this is Psalms 26 and 1. All right, it said, Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. All right, so in order for us to live up to our name, whatever your name is, you brothers and sisters, that is truth. You know, if you have a Hebrew name, we have to live up to it. All right, and this is one of the ways we can do that. All right, verse 2. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. All right. And when it says try, it means to test. You know, like this uh, guy on this uh, uh, video, he said that, you know, when he was uncovering all this wicked Hollywood stuff and their mansion parties and all that stuff, you know, selling your soul to the devil, that was a test. You know, this, in the, and he said, this whole galaxy is a test. And he's right. All right. So one of the ways that we can live up to the names that the Lord has given us is to do what? Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. All right, verse 3. For thine loving kindness is before my eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. All right? And that's what we're doing, and that's why we have to walk in truth and in, ser in, in sincerity. Okay, let's look up the word integrity. And that's a major part, like a good example is Job, he had his integrity. Let's look up the word integrity, despite all the hell he went through, you know. Strong's H, 8537, tome. Alright, the Hebrew tome. word there is tome, which means integrity, completeness, alright. Completeness, fullness, alright. Fullness, completeness. Meaning that this walk that we're on, all right, we have to, if we keep our integrity, we will complete the mission. 
if we do not do that, if we just, you know, you know, go halfway and say, I'll forget about this, the Lord takes the Spirit, Holy Spirit away from us, we have not kept our integrity. Therefore, we've not done any completeness, like it says here. All right, and you look up the definition of integrity here. This is in um, Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. Integrity, all right. Firm adherence to a code of especially moral and artistic values. Incorruptible, all right. Incorruptible, and that's the Lord's elect. They're, they're incorruptible, all right. He ain't going to lose any of them, all right. If it was possible, they would deceive the very elect, but it's not possible, all right. So a part of us, all right, being in his truth, we have to live up to our names, man. Right? Okay, and therefore we have to have what? Integrity. So we are incorruptible. One sc last scripture I'm going to close. This is uh, Romans 12 and 1. All right. Um, Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of, of God. And the Lord has been mercy unto us, man. I think it's the book of Ezra, chapter 9. Uh, it says, the Lord has punished us least than our sins deserve. So, if the Lord punished us for every sin that we've done, you know, uh, uh, you know, like in our past lives and now, all right, our punishment would be much, we'll be catching much more hell than we're catching now. So he's been merciful, okay? That ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice, all right? Holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Now let's get more understanding all right, more edification, which will build us up. That's what edify means, to build up. All right, using that same scripture in the NLT. And it says here. Right, let's see. Uh, it says here. Uh, Romans 12.1 in the NLT. And so, dear brothers and sisters. All right, a few sisters that are in this truth. I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. And there uh, are plenty of times, man. The Lord has done a hell of a lot for us. You know, many brothers and sisters can have testimonies on that. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice. All right. The kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. So, to be acceptable, to have our integrity, all right, to live up to our names, all right, our Norman Omen names, we have to do what? We have to do this, present our bodies as a living sacrifice, all right? We, we have to sacrifice relationships, ta um, uh, uh, entertainment, uh, you know, uh, uh, all these things to invest our time in this truth you know and it will bear forth fruit but we have to live up to the names that the heavenly father has given us so it's just a little quick lesson i'm just gonna leave it at that for now so i hope you was edified until the next one shalom